What's up guys? Today I want to start uh, my first video on my journey into OSINT, Open Source Intelligence. Uh, it hasn't been, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, I've just been busy so I'm gonna see maybe if I'll do this video uncut. I already pressed record so screw it, here we go. Uh, yeah, so OSINT or Open Source Intelligence, what is OSINT? From what I've learned so far, uh, open source intelligence is exactly what it is in the name. It's pretty much any intelligence that you can gather through open source tools and resources, whether it's the internet, whether it's a tool on Linux or uh, whatever it may be, just any, you know, white pages is, a, is an open source uh, resource in itself. So this is uh, something that I want to get into. I want to start learning about uh, what I've done so far as I've, I've gathered a few resources. I'll be honest with you, uh, what I have so far is more resources than I'm comfortable with uh, doing. I like to usually focus on one thing, stick to that before I move on to the next one. But um, yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get into. My, my first resource that I want to use is uh, Heath Adams or uh, The Cyber Mentor. He has a Udemy course right here, Open Source Intelligence Fundamentals. It's an eight, eight and a half hour on demand course. Uh, it, it also comes with a Discord channel. Here, let me see if I can find it. So yeah, so he's got all sorts of stuff. If you don't know the Cyber Mentor, he, uh, I actually was able to buy this course for 10 bucks because he had a, a March, um, a, like, what is it, a coupon? And it, the, like, the thought behind it is that he wants to be able to provide education for people that can't afford it, you know, whether you can afford it or not, you know, we should all be able to learn it. And, and I really support this guy when it comes to stuff like that. So I got the course, uh, like I said, it's eight and a half hours. I'm going to be getting through that. That's the first thing that I want to get through. Probably take me maybe a couple weeks in order to uh, actually get through all the videos and also do all the labs or whatever may come with it. Uh, as I'm going through this, I'm going to start posting videos about some of the tools that I learned, some of the techniques that I learned, uh, just so I can start sharing them with you guys. Uh, after I get through this video series, um, actually, you know what, because I, I was also just suggested by my friend on Instagram, Mindfucker. He told me about, uh, what is it? About Try Hack Me, and it's something I've always wanted to try, I've never actually used it, but they have an OSINT room. So if I can find more OSINT rooms on Try Hack Me, I'm gonna, I wanna do at least one of these uh, every couple weeks or maybe once a week, uh, see what it's like. Definitely gonna be posting a video after I get through those. Like I said, I've never done it before, so uh, that would be interesting to, to be able to document that as well. So I wanna get through this, uh, this Udemy course. I'm going to be doing some of these Try Hack Me's and I got this book. It was suggested by a YouTube video I was looking at. Um, Hunting Cyber Criminals, A Hacker's Guide to Online Intelligence Gathering Tools and Techniques by Vinny Troa, Troya? I don't know if, if someone knows how to pronounce that, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I, I, it was suggested to me, I haven't looked too far into it. I was actually looking to another book uh, by Michael ba Bazel, Basil? Again, I, I suck at names, dude. But uh, yeah, I, I went with this one. Um, again, suggested by a, a, a video on YouTube. I'm going to be reading through this once I get through all my other stuff. Uh, another thing that was suggested to me by my friend Gainsec is this right here. The Privacy and Security Show. Can you, I don't even know if you can see that. Privacy and Security Show. It's a podcast. Uh, Privacy, Security, and OSINT. Sorry. This one's by Michael ba Bazel. Bazel. Whatever. So I was actually gonna buy his book. It was just released uh, in January, the the most recent copy. Uh, when I started listening to this podcast, he was mentioning some of the tools that were. It was only a couple months old, and and some of the tools that he went in depth about in that book are already outdated. Just because a lot of the tools that we're going to be coming across, you know, they're going to be up for as long as they're up, and then people start getting wind of it, and then they get shut down. So I decided that I'm gonna hold off on getting that book. Um, I know that he's gonna be. Uh, already coming out with a new one next year, so I'll probably grab that one. But in the meantime, this uh, 
This podcast is really good. I've already learned a lot of information about it and it's called Privacy, Security, and OSINT. And what I love about this is that, you know, I, I really do love privacy too. You know, what, what got me into this whole cybersecurity thing was uh, Kevin Mitnick's book, The Art of Invisibility. And that's all about like online privacy, not even just online, just privacy in general. And, and privacy goes hand in hand with OSINT, you know, with open source intelligence, because if you're able to keep your life private, you know, uh, all your data and your information, if you're able to keep it as private as you can from online and from people snooping, then you're keeping, that's like the defensive side, you know? And then when you're doing open source intelligence, that's like trying to find it. So it's like the offense defensive side, you know, it's a blue team, red team. You really want to know about both sides of it in order to get a full understanding, you know? So that's what I love about it. You know, he talks about all in depth, you know, if you like, if you read Kevin Mitnick's book, uh, Art of Invisibility, you would love this podcast. I'm sure you would love his book. I, I haven't read it, so I, I couldn't I couldn't give you my experience on it, but so far, man, this thing has been really, it's it's really good, you know? And that's what I'm gonna be listening to whenever I'm driving around, you know, driving to work, um, doing the dishes, whatever it may be. So uh, yeah, I, I, like, I just wanted to post a video uh, to get started, to uh, keep me on my toes, you know, to make sure that I'm uh, following this path. I want to get into this for the next couple months, at least, you know, getting through these courses and through some of this material. Uh, it's all very new to me. So if you guys have any suggestions, any routes, lessons learned that you had when you were getting into this and maybe some uh, some better routes to take things to avoid, you know, I, I'm, I'm all ears. Uh, just leave, leave some suggestions, whatever it may be, maybe some resources, links in the comments section of this video. I'll include links to the book, the course, you know, the Try Hack Me, um, the podcast, you know, and some of the people that helped me out. I'm going to include all that in the uh, in the description below. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, just uh, just let me know. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram. Um, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, as far as what I've learned thus far. And like I said, I plan to be posting quite a few more videos uh, as far as this journey. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and thanks again. Like I said, uncut, right? This is when I cut it.